Jolly, uh, turned into a very disappointing afternoon that for you, didn't it? Yeah, again, it's, you know, we, um, we, we were on the wrong, the wrong side of a you know, mistaken identity, really. And um, unfortunately for us, it's cost us the game in the end because, you know, listen, we never had real control of the game, but I felt once we'd scored the goal, we started to really get a bit of, you know, um, tempo to it. And, um, yeah, listen, it's a disappointment, but I just said to the lads in there, you have to roll your sleeves up and we go again Tuesday at home. In terms of the mistaken identity, you're clearly referring to the sending off of Bose and Luau. Yeah, absolutely. I, um, you know, I think it's a foul in the, the front, the start of it through with, with, with Stockers and um, their centre-back. He wrestles them to the ground and that's where it all happens. But again, Boston, you know, he, he's in there, but he does, he's nothing there. And um, I think he, you know, the, the referee or the linesman gets the... The, the opportunity wrong and he he thinks it's um, Boston but realistically it's somebody else Are you in a position as a club now to appeal that decision? Well yeah again listen we'll we'll sit on the bus for three hours at home and we'll, we'll discuss it but you know in that opportunity absolutely we'll look at look at it and if we we feel that we've got a, the, the right to appeal we'll do that um, ultimately we we've had a, a good week in terms of results but I don't want this to, to derail us we're, we're, we feel like we're in a good place Um performance was okay at times today and even second half I thought we passed it as, as well as them when we were at 10 men so we've got to take that encouragement that positive mindset going into to Tuesday night because we're at home and um, it's a, another big challenge for us. Echoes of the Wickham game really in a sense of two because uh, in that game you were 2-0 up sending off just before half time similar thing today and obviously they came out and it buoyed them in a sense didn't it because they got those two quick goals. Yeah of course and this crowd got lifted and um, you know they were quiet for, for 40, 43 minutes but sending off it changes the game changes the complex of the thing and the same at Wickham but we have to, to probably deal with that a little bit better than we have done um, but again, for, for me as, a, as the manager and these group of players, they've gave me everything since I've come in the building. They gave me another good p performance and shift today. And let's say I'm going to have to, to pick them up and we'll, we'll go again Tuesday. Link up play between Jaden Stockley and Promise Omicheri for the goal. Impressive. And Promise Omicheri, as a player, he grows with every game, doesn't he? He has, and his record is, is there. And um, for us, it's about getting him to a, a level on a consistent basis in terms of his fitness. And, you know, he's had a couple of injuries this year. So we have to try and keep him on the pitch as long as we can. Um, and we took him off half time for a tactical reason. Him and, and Ronan, they, you know, they, we, you've also got to think about what is coming up next. So again, it was a decision that we have to take. And um, you know, he got his goal and, and he deserved it. But you know, we, we as a group, as a squad, we've got to stick together. You know, another great following from us today with supporters as well. They seem to be in enjoying what we're trying to do, and the performances are coming. We just need them again Tuesday, big atmosphere and keep that, that drum and, and keep the support behind the lads because they're, they're buoyant in there, they're, they're, they're disappointed but again I could feel there's a togetherness there, they're, they're, they're proud to be at this football club and we're going to need that for the next few games. The key now isn't it uh, to not allow the confidence to dip too much, you know, when they've been doing so well the last three games with a game coming up on Tuesday night and it's a big opponent in the sense that Reading are down there with you too. Yeah but I'll, I won't allow that to happen um, because I'll keep driving them, I'll keep them Boy, they, you know their performances over the last sort of three or four games has, has gave them an opportunity to, to be where they are. Um, Redden had a good win today, and that's that's all it is. It's another three points. I keep saying to the lads, it's another three points. It's um, and we'll take care of each game. Um, tough challenge at Redden. Obviously, they're getting a good win at Charlton, and they'll be coming with a bit of confidence. But but we should be as well. We won at home last time out, and uh, and I trust and I believe in these group of players that they can go and give me another performance like like we did against Portville.